been here before. Sure you've been here before, Lenny. You was only born here and raised up here. This here's your Aunt Claire's. Evening, ma'am. Is that you, George? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Come on in. Back again, eh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Same reason as before? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. On in set. You're gonna eat that pie? If I didn't have him around my neck, life could be so easy. Come the end of the month, I just could take my 50 bucks and go on into town. Get whatever you want? Yeah. Get me a gallon of whiskey and go to a pool room. Shoot some pool, play some cards. You certainly have a right to that, George. That, that's right, ma'am, I do. He ain't no kin of yours. You can leave him. Ain't nobody in the world gonna say you ain't done everything for him, George. You can leave him. If you can. I could just go to a ranch and get me a job and, and hold her down for a while. You have a right to do that. No reason why you shouldn't. I ain't talking no more. I'm pulling out. Like you said, he ain't no kin of mine. And I just, I ain't responsible for him. I'm leaving him, ma'am. Where are we going now, George? I bet you'd give us another piece of pie. Ain't you gonna eat your pie, George? Lenny, uh, you go sit over there. Go on. You stay there. For how long, George? T till I give you a holler.
George? George, I know you're gonna come back. got that already, did you? I, I tried not to forget. Honest, I did. All right. I'll tell you again, I ain't got nothing better to do. Might just well spend all my time telling you things and you forget them, and I tell you again. I tried and I tried, but it didn't do no good, George. Uh, I, I remember about the rabbits. That's all you ever can remember is them rabbits. Don't you remember us going into Johnson and Beatty's and them giving us work cards to go work on the ranch? Oh, yeah, sure, George. I, I, I remember that. Um, George? Huh? Uh, I, I ain't got mine. I must have lost it. You never did have yours. I got both of them right here. You think I'd let you carry your own work card?
What did you take out of your pocket? Uh, ain't a thing in my pocket. I know the ring. You got it in your hand. What you got in your hand? Uh, I ain't got nothing, George. Honest. Come on, give it here. It's only a mouse. A mouse? A live mouse? No, no. Uh, just a dead mouse. Uh, uh, but I didn't kill it. Honest, I, I found it. I found it dead. Give it here. Leave me have it, George. Give it here. I was petting it with my thumb while we walked along. Well, you ain't petting no mouse when you're walking with me. we going to the ranch and get some supper. They got supper at the ranch. No reason at all. I just like it here. Tomorrow we'll be going back to work, busting our backs, lifting up them barley bags. Tonight I'm going to lay right here and look up. Tonight there ain't a green bag or a boss in the whole world. Ain't we gonna have some supper? Sure we are. If you gather up some dead willow sticks, I got three cans of beans here in my bindle. You get the fire ready, I'll give you a match when you got the sticks together, then we'll heat up these beans and we'll have supper. <laughs> I like beans with ketchup. Well, we ain't got no ketchup. Now go get the wood. Don't do no fooling around. Be dark before long. Uh -huh. there for four men. Uh, I like them with ketchup. I told you, we ain't got any. Whatever we ain't got, that's what you want. I was alone, I could live life so easy. End of the month, take my $50 and just go to town and buy whatever I want. Get me a whole gallon of whiskey. And sit in the pool room and play cards or shoot pool. Instead, what I got, I got you. Just keep me shoving all over the country. And that ain't the worst of it. You do bad things. You get in trouble all the time, and I got to get you out of trouble. That posse up in Weed, they'd have lynched you if they'd have caught you. Just wanted to touch the girl's dress because it was so nice and soft. Just wanted to pet it like it was a bird or a rabbit. Well, you saw what happened. You touched her dress, and she started yelling, and all hell broke loose, didn't it? George, you, you want that I should go away and leave you alone? <laughs> Where would you go? Oh, I, I could. Uh, uh, I could go right off in them hills there, someplace I, I could find a cave. Yeah, how would you eat? You ain't got sense enough to find nothing to eat. Well, I, I find things. Uh, I don't need no nice food with ketchup. Me all, all you gotta do is say so, and 
and I'll go right off in them hills there and, and live by myself, and I won't get no mouse stole from me neither. Nah. Somebody shoot you for a coyote by yourself. You better stay with me. George. What? Tell me. Like you done before. Tell you what? About the rabbits. No, oh, you ain't roping me in anything. Oh, come on, George. Tell me, please, like you done before. I'll tell you. Here. You eat your beans. Watch out. Well, go on, George. Well, guys like us that work on ranches, is the loneliest guys in the world. They come to a ranch and work up a stake, then they go to town and blow their stake. And before you know it, they're pounding their tails on some other ranch. They ain't got nothing to look ahead to. That's it, that's it. Now, now tell how it is with us. With us, it's different. We got a future. <sighs> We got somebody to talk to that gives a hoot what happens to us. We don't have to sit in no bar room blowing our jack because we ain't got no place to go. Them other guys, if they go to jail, they could rot as far as anybody care. But not us. And why? Because, because I got you to look after me, and you got me to look after you, and that's why, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, George. You know it all. Do it yourself. No, no. You. I, I forget some of the things. No. Tell, tell how it's going to be. Well, OK. One of these days, we're going to get our jack together, and we're going to get us a place. We'll have a house couple of acres, and a cow, and some pigs. And, and live off the fat of the land. <laughs> Go on, George. And, and we're going to have rabbits, and, 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 and tell about uh, what we're going to have in the garden, and, and uh, uh, tell about the, the rabbits in the cages, and the rain in the winter, and, and the stove, and about how thick the, the, the cream is on top of the milk, like you can hardly cut it. Tell, tell about that, George. You know it all by heart. You tell it. No, no, you tell it. It ain't the same if I tell it. Uh, go on. Tell how I get to turn the rabbits. Okay. Well, we're going to have us a, a big vegetable patch and a rabbit hutch and chickens. And, and, and live off the fat of the land. Yeah. And when it rains in the wintertime, We'll just say, skip the work. We'll build us a big fire in the stove, we'll sit around it, we'll listen to the rain coming down on the roof. Ah, uh, I ain't got no more time for this. Let's hit the hay. Lenny? What are you going to say tomorrow when the boss asks you questions? I'm... I, I ain't going to say a word. Good boy, that's fine. <laughs> Look, Lenny. Look around here. You think you can remember this place? 
So I can. <laughs> Didn't I remember about not going to say a word? Of course you did. Look, Lenny, if you just happen to get in trouble, like you always did before, I want you to come to this place and hide in the brush. Can you remember that? Hide in the brush. Hide in the brush until I come for you. Can you remember that? Sure, uh, I can, George. Hide in the brush till you come. That's right. But you ain't gonna get in no trouble. Because if you do, I won't let you tend the rabbits. I ain't gonna get in no trouble. I ain't gonna say a word. That's right. Okay. You get your bindle and bring it over by the fire. It's gonna be nice. Ah. Just lay in here. And looking up at the leaves. Sleep? No, what do you want? Let's have different color rabbits, George. Sure, Lenny. Red ones and blue ones and green ones. Millions of them. <laughs> Furry ones, George? Like like the ones I seen at the fair in Sacramento? Furry ones, Lenny. Of course, of course, I, I can just as well go away and live in a cave if, if you don't want me. Let me shut up. George? What? Uh, I'm shutting up, George. Just come, boss. Bring him in. You got your work slips? here. You was to be here last night, ready for work this morning. Uh, a bus driver give us a bum steer. We had to walk 10 miles. I had to send out the grain team short two buckers. What's your name? Uh, George Milton. Middleton. His name is Lenny Small. Small. All right. Where are you boys been working? Up around Weed. You too? Yeah, him too. He's not much of a talker, is he? Uh, no. Uh, but he's a good worker. Strong as a bull. <laughs> Strong as a bull. What can he do? He can do anything. Or do let him answer! What are you trying to put over? Uh, I ain't saying he's bright. He ain't. 
I'm saying he's a good worker. What stake you got in this guy? You taking his pay away from him? No, of course I ain't. I have never seen one guy take so much trouble for another guy. I'd just like to know what your percentage is. Well, he's my cousin. Uh, and uh, I promised his old lady I'd look after him. He got kicked in the head by a horse when he was a kid. Ain't too bright. But he can do anything. All right. But don't try to put nothing over because I've seen wise guys before. Andy, show these guys the bunkhouse, then take them out to Slim. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi, Crooks. What you got there? Boss buses cinch. Oh. And them two is the new stiffs? I uh, know. Didn't the boss raise enough cane with me when they didn't show this morning? No, he sure did. Huh. Boss always takes it out on crooks when he gets mad. He got that crooked leg when he fell off a horse, too. Hmm. He reads a lot. Got books in his room. Say, what kind of fella is this boss, anyway? Well, he's not a bad kind of fella for a boss. Gets mad sometimes, but well, it's pretty nice. Hey, throw your bundles in the bunk in the middle, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, take you out the field. That's a pretty old dog, Mister. Oh, Matt, I had him since he was a pup. <laughs> he was a good sheep dog when he was young. You seen my old man, Candy? Yeah, just left him up at the house. Ready. You the new guys my old man's been looking for? Yeah, just come in. Let the big guy talk. So supposing he don't want to talk. Got to talk when he spoke to. What are you shoving into this for? Oh, we just uh, travel together. And you don't let the big guy talk. Is that it? No. He can talk. If he's got something he wants to tell you. We just come in. Well, next time you answer when you spoke to them. Say, what you picking on it for? You drawing cards this hand. I might. So you get your chance to ante. What's that guy got on his shoulder? Then he never done nothing to him. Uh -huh. I tell you what, Curly's like a lot of little guys. He hates big guys. Kind of like he's mad at him because he ain't big himself. Yeah, I think this Curly guy's a skunk. Seems like he's worse lately. He got married a couple months ago, and seems like Curly's worse ever since he got married. Like he's sitting on an ant hill. Where's my guy? Oh, here he is, a little fat. Little fatty. Mm. Get your little face. Get your little face. Just rock him, make it so much noise. <laughs> Eyes. 
sweetie. <laughs> Those two new buggers just showed up, Curly. Yeah, hey, I seen them, Daddy. Don't like the looks much. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to hold that against him. I wouldn't have a man on this place if I waited for you to like somebody's looks. Well, if I didn't watch him like a hawk every minute, we wouldn't have a place. You seen May? Let her alone, why don't you? Why do you keep pestering her, son? She isn't doing anybody any harm. How do I know that? Boy, you put your mind on your job and forget about your wife for about an hour. All right. Carly. You sure do trust me, don't you? As far as I can spit. Who's in there with you? There ain't nobody in there. Time they'll carry you out. Where'd you get that pup? Slim gave it to you, didn't he? What if he did? Nobody's giving my wife presents. Slim's gonna take it back. No, he won't. Right of you. No. <laughs> we'll see if he is or not. Skinner, my old man's got on the place. And I know he won't let me can you. He can't stop me from tangling with you if you don't lay off my wife. What have I done now, Mr. Jackson? You gave her a pup. And? I don't want no ranch hands giving my wife presents. And? And you're gonna take it back. After work, Slim. Give it to you on your own time. Let's get back to work. Hey, Slim. I want to run back over to the barn now, and I'm going to make sure that you ain't got no more puppies to give away.
say that guy tried to kill us. Yeah. He was aiming at Lenny. Like I told you, hates big guys. Well, come on. Slim? This here's the new guys. What Slim says goes around here, fellas. Ah, lay off, Candy. Uh, my name is uh, George Milton. This here's my partner, Lenny Small. <laughs> you guys travel around together? Yeah, sure. We look out for each other. Go on. A ask him, George. What's eating him? Well, he heard Curly talking about your pups, and now he wants one. <laughs> sure. I, I, I want a pup. You, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> OK, big boy. When we get back to the barn, I'll give you one. I'll give you a pup. <laughs> <laughs> you boys ever bucked any barley? I'll say. I ain't nothing to scream about myself, but this here big guy, watch this. Lenny, lift her up. Go on. such a strong guy. You just give us the word, Slim. We'll show you. All right, boys. Let up, buck! Candy says it's true. Curly's got his work ahead of him. Lenny, listen to me. Don't you even take a look at that dame. I never done nothing, George. No, you never. But when she was standing there, you wasn't looking the other way, neither. Well, I never meant no harm, George. Honest, I, I never. She is so pretty, and, and she had a pup. Yeah, well, you stay away from her. If she is poison, you let Curly take the rap. He's the one let himself in for it. Come on, let's buck. I don't, I don't like this place. I don't like it no better than you do, Lenny. But we gotta keep her till we get a steak. Let's go, George. Let's, let's get out of here. It's mean here. Lenny. Go to work. Here comes that curly skunk. Hey! Come here. Keep working. You see a girl around here? Work. 
couple of minutes ago, maybe. Well, what was she doing? I didn't ask her. Well, which way did she go? I don't know. I didn't watch her. You know, Lenny, I'm scared I'm gonna tangle with that palooka myself. I hate the sight of him. You ain't, ain't mad, George. No, I ain't mad at you. I'm mad at that Curly. You see, you stay away from him. Sure, I, I will. I, I, I won't say a word. That's right. Don't let him pull you in. But if he does take a sock at you, you let him have it. Let him have what, George? Never mind. Skunk Curly ain't been messing around with my pups, has he? I ain't seen him, son. Where's them? How we go today? Pretty good. I got two new good guys. Glad to meet you. My name's Carlson. Uh, George Milton. This here's Lenny Small. Glad to meet you. Lenny? He ain't very small. <laughs> he ain't small at all. <laughs> Here you are, Lenny. It's a boy pup. Oh. <laughs> Let's wash up. There's gonna be nothing left to eat in a minute. Lenny, put that pup down a while and come wash up. Uh, I'm coming, George. <laughs> Awful nice of you to give Lenny that pup, Slim. I was nothing. No need to thank me about that. Not much to you, but a whole lot to him. I don't know how we're going to get him to sleep in the bunkhouse tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you sure was right about him. I never seen such a work. I thought he was going to kill you, fucking Barney. Yeah, you just tell Lenny what to do and he'll do her if it don't take no figuring. Funny how you and him string along together. What's so funny about it? I don't know. I'm kind of funny. Cuckoo like him? Smart guy like you? He ain't no cuckoo. He's dumb, but he ain't crazy. And I ain't so smart either, or I wouldn't be bucking barley for my 15 pound. If I was bright, or even a little bit smart, I'd have my own place, bring in my own crops. Instead of doing all the work and not getting what comes out of the ground. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Sometimes I'd like to cuss a string of mules that was my own mules. Ain't so funny him and me traveling around together either. Him and me was both born up in Auburn, grew up together. I used to have a lot of fun making jokes on him because he was too dumb to take care of himself. He was too dumb to even know when a joke was being played on him. Yeah, I used to have fun. Made me look smart alongside of him. Yeah, I've seen it that way. I'll tell you what made me stop playing jokes on him. 
One day, a bunch of guys were standing around up there on the Sacramento River, and I turned around to Lenny, and I says, Lenny, jump. What happened? He jumped. He couldn't swim a stroke. He near drowned. Thing was, he was so nice to me for pulling him out, he clean forgot I was the one that told him to jump in the first place. I don't do things like that no more. Makes me kind of sick just talking about it. Hold her a second, Slim. Hey, Lenny! Whoa, Lenny! <laughs> I'm going pretty soon, George. You go now, or I'll tell Slim not to let you have that pup. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> he's just like a big kid, ain't he? Yeah. Ain't no more harm in him than a kid, neither. Except he's so strong. He ain't got sense enough to take care of himself. Nice fella. Guy don't need no sense to be a nice fella. Well, plenty's a nuisance most of the time. But you get used to going around with a guy, and you can't get rid of him. Do you want to get rid of him? Well, he gets in trouble a lot on account he's so dumb. Like what he did up in Weed. What'd he do in Weed? You wouldn't tell. No, of course you wouldn't. I'll tell you later, Slim. I uh, did just like you told me, George. Okay. Eat your supper. Okay, I I'll eat, George, but then I gotta go see my pup. Okay. <laughs> Take me to the picture show. Curly. Mm. 
Saw it the other night with some of the boys. See that stable buck pit shoes. <laughs> he, he don't give nobody else a chance to win. <laughs> oh, that dog smells. Get him out of here, Candy. Ain't nothing that smells as bad as old dog. Well, I guess I've been around him so much I never noticed how he smelled. Well, I can't stand him in here. That stink hangs around even after he's gone. Look at him. All stiff with rheumatism. He ain't no good to you, why don't you shoot him? I tell you what, Mr. Carlson, I had old Max so long. I herded sheep with him. You may not think it to look at him, but he's the best darn sheep dog I ever saw. Look at Candy. You know, this old dog just suffers itself all the time. If you just take him out and shoot him right in the back of the head, just right there, well, he'd never know what hit him. Oh, I couldn't. I've had him too long. Tell you what I do. I shoot him for you, and then it won't be you who done it. Let him alone, Carl. It ain't a guy's dog that matters. It's how the guy feels about the dog. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't trade this old mutt here for a field trail pointer. <laughs> well, Candy ain't being nice to him keeping him alive. Now look. Slim's out and got a letter right now. I bet you Slim give you one of them pups to raise up foot in your sleep. Yeah. Sure, you can have a pup. I wish somebody'd shoot me if I get old and a cripple. Might hurt him. Don't mind taking care of him. Oh, he'd be better off dead. Way I'd shoot him, he wouldn't feel nothing. Look, Candy. If you want me to, I'll put that old devil out of his misery right now and get it over with. There ain't nothing left for him. He can't see, he can't eat, he can't hardly even walk. You ain't got no gun. Got a Luger right there in my bag. It won't hurt him none at all. No, not today. Not today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. That's, uh, we're gonna let it go till tomorrow. Now, I don't see no sense in waiting. I ain't got no hankering for this. I'm doing it for you. What do you say? Candy. Candy, you better let him go. Perfect. 
I'll down some cards with you. Why is this taking him so long? Lay out some cards, would you? Not getting any rummy played this way. I think I better go get the other brush, Mr. Slim. Hey, Lenny. Better quit petting that pup. It ain't good for him. Put him back in with his mother and going over the bunkhouse. Oh, I'll do everything you say that's good for the pup. You bet. I'm going right now. Send the big guy out. I gotta talk to you. You ain't got nothing to say to me. Maybe I oughtn't to say this, but I don't like Curly. He's not a nice fella. No, you oughtn't. And you oughtn't to be here, and you oughtn't to talk to me or any other guy on this ranch. Now go back to the house and stay there. I don't want to listen to your trouble. You ain't got no troubles except what you make for yourself. Come on. Any of you guys seen my wife? Oh, she ain't been here. Where's Slim? Went out to bar and says he's gonna put some tar on a split hoof. How long ago did he go? Just a few minutes ago.
Well, I, I'd like to see this. I believe I would, too. My money's on Slim. Slim's going to kill him. Lenny? Ah, uh, there goes May back up toward the big house. Them fellas ain't gonna see no fight tonight. If there is any fight, Lenny, you get out of the way and stay out. Uh, I don't want no fight, George. Is it gonna be till we get that little place and live off the fat of the land? I don't know. We gotta get a big stake together. I know a little place we can get cheap, but they ain't giving it away. Tell about that place, George. I told you a hundred times. Go on, George. Tell again. Well. It's 10 acres. It's got a little shack. Got a little windmill. Chicken run. Got a kitchen orchard with cherries and peaches and apples and cots and nuts. Got a few berries and a place for alfalfa and plenty of water to flood it. Got some pig pens. And rabbits, George? Sure, I could easily build a couple of hutches and <laughs> You could throw alfalfa to them rabbits. Oh, they'd nibble and they'd nibble just like I seen them. Yeah. They wouldn't sleep in no bunkhouse. And they couldn't nobody fire us in the middle of a job. Tell about the house. Sure. We'd have a little house and a room to ourselves. And when we put that crop in the ground, why, we'd be there to take it for us. We'd know what'd come of our planting. What else? You know about, what else? Um, tell about the rabbits and how I get to tend them. Well, you could get a sack, go on down to that alfalfa patch, Fill that sack up, bring it in, and throw it to them rabbits. <laughs> we keep us a few pigeons to fly around the windmill like, like they done when I was a kid. And be our own place. And they couldn't nobody can us. And if we didn't like a guy, we'd say get, and by golly, he'd have to get. And if a friend come along, well, we'd have an extra bunk, and you know what we'd say? We'd say, hey, stay the night. And by golly, he would. <laughs> and, and we'd have a, a setter dog and a couple of striped cats. Of course, you got to be careful. Them cats don't get them little rabbits. Well, you just let them try. I'll break their necks. Well, I'd smash them flat with a stick. I'd smash them cats flat with a stick. That's what I'd do. I'd smash them oh. flat with a stick. You know where is a place like that? Suppose I do. What's that to you? Oh, don't need to tell me where it's at. Could be any place. Yeah, sure, you couldn't find it in a thousand years. How much they want for a place like that? Well, I could get it for 600 bucks. The old people that owns it is flat bust. Old lady needs medicine. Say, what's it to you? You ain't no part of us. I ain't much good with only one hand. I lost the use of this hand right here on the ranch. And they give me a job swamping. And they give me $250 because of the hand. 
And I got 50 more saved up, that's 300. And I got 40 more coming the end of the month. And I'll tell you what, suppose I went in with you guys. That'd be 340 bucks I put in. How would that be? Well, uh, I'd have to think about that. We always figured on doing it together. Just me and Lenny never thought about it, nobody else. I'd make a will. Leave my share to you guys in case I kick off. You fellas got any money? Maybe we can go there right now. You got any money? We got ten bucks between us. Say, listen. If me and Lenny was to work for one month, yeah. and we didn't spend no money at all, We'd have a hundred bucks. That'd be 440. Maybe we could swing her for that. And you and Lenny could go up there and get her started, and I'd get another job to make up the rest. Maybe we could swing her. Maybe. Well, you know, I got hurt four years ago. And they're going to can me pretty soon. As soon as I can't swamp out no more bunkhouses, they'll put me on the county. And maybe if I give you fellas any money, you'd let me hoe in the garden even after I ain't no good at it. And I'd, I'd wash dishes and little chicken stuff like that. But I, I'd be on our own place. And I'd get to work on our own place. We'll do her. Do we? By golly, we'll do it. We'll go and we'll fix that old place up, and we'll live right on her. Oh, boy. In one month, yeah. right smack in one month, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to write to them old folks that owns it and yeah. tell them we'll take her. Sure. And, and maybe Candy will give us a hundred bucks to bind her. Oh, sure. I'll give it to you. Oh, three hundred right now. Come on, come on. Right over here. If it's good, burns cold or wood. I'm going to take my pup. I bet he likes it there, I bet. My pup. Now, we ain't going to tell nobody. Just the three of us and nobody else. Or they might can us so we couldn't get no steak. 300 right there. <laughs> now, listen. We'll just go on like we're going to buck barley for the, for the rest of our lives. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, yeah. one day, Bang! We'll just take our pay and scram out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and don't tell nobody. We're not going to tell nobody. That's right, Lenny. Don't tell nobody. George. Huh? I ought to shot old Mac myself, George. I shouldn't ought to let no stranger shoot my dog. All right, now you know. Well, I just asked you. You don't have to get sour about it, do you? I ain't sour. I just don't want no more questions, that's all. I don't want no more questions. I didn't mean nothing, Slim. I just asked. Well, you've been asking too often, and I'm getting sick of it. If you can't look out after your own wife, what do you expect me to do about it? You leave me be. Just trying to tell you I didn't mean nothing. I just thought you might have saw her. Why don't you tell her to stay home where she belongs? You keep letting her come to the bunkhouse, pretty soon you're going to have something on your hands. Now, you keep out of this, unless you want to step outside. Why, well, you, Palooka, you yellow as a frog's foot. You come for me, I'll kick your head off. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. I'm gonna live off the fat of the land. <laughs> Who do you think you're laughing at? Huh? Get up on your feet! Get up! No big guy's gonna laugh at me. I'll show you who's yellow. George? <laughs> Lenny!
up, Lenny. Let him go, Lenny. Let him go, Lenny. Lenny, Lenny, let him go. Let him go, Lenny. That's enough. Let him go. Let him go. Get some water, Whit. You told me to, George. I know. You told, told me. me. It's okay, Lenny. It's okay. It's okay. You better get him to a doctor. Looks like every bone in his hands bust. Oh, I see. Yes, sir. I don't want to hurt him. I just want to. It's okay, Lonnie. You did okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go get the truck, Carlson. We got to get this man to town to a doctor. I get it, Carl. It's all right, Lenny. It ain't your fault. Curly sure had it coming to him. Slim. We're gonna get canned now? Is Curly's old man gonna can us now? I don't know. You got your sense enough to listen? All right, you listen. I think you got your hand caught in the machine. If you don't tell nobody, we won't. But if you tell and try to get this guy fired, I'll tell everybody. And then will you get the horse laugh? I won't tell. All right, Carlson, let's get him out of here. Get him in the truck. You got him, Carl? Boy, you see that hand. Lenny was scared. He didn't know what he was doing. I told you nobody never ought to fight him. I guess it was candy I told that to. I, I didn't want no trouble. It ain't your fault, Lenny. He was just scared. You don't have to be scared now. You did just like I told you. You go out now. Go out to the wash house, Lenny. You go wash up. I can still tend the rabbits, George. Sure you can. You didn't do no bad thing, Lenny. You go wash up. Go on. Slim, you really think Curly's gonna keep his mouth shut? in from the fields. He ain't said nothing.
no right to come in my room. I ain't wanted in the bunkhouse and you ain't wanted in my room. <laughs> Everybody gone to town. George says that I gotta stay here and not get in no trouble. I, I seen your light. Come on in and set a while. As long as you won't get out and leave me alone. Might as well sit. Yeah. Right here. Sit down over here. Over here. All the boys going to town, huh? Mm-hmm. All, all but old Candy. And he just sits in the bunkhouse, sharpening his pencils and sharpening, figuring, sharpening, figuring. <laughs> figuring? What's Candy figuring about? About the rabbits. You bunkhouse. What rabbits are you talking about? Uh, the rabbits that we're going to get, and, and I get to tend them. You, you, you can ask George. You've been traveling around with that guy for a long time, ain't you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Me and him, we... We goes every place together. Suppose George don't come back no more. Suppose he take a run out of powder and just ain't coming back. What you do then? What? What? I said, suppose George went into town tonight and you never heard of him no more. Just suppose that. <laughs> he, he won't do that. Mm -mm. You want me to tell you what'll happen? They'll take you to the booby hatch. They'll tie you with a collar like a dog. And then you'll be just like me, living in a kennel. George. I was just supposing. George ain't hurt. He's all right. He'll be back all right. What are you supposing for? <laughs> ain't nobody gonna suppose no hurt to George. Of course not. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Come on. Come on. Come on. But maybe you can see what it's like now. You got George, and you know he's coming back. Suppose you didn't have nobody. Suppose you couldn't go in the bunkhouse and play rummy because you was black. Suppose you had to sit out here and read books. Books ain't no good. A man needs somebody to talk to. I tell you, he gets too lonely. He gets sick. Somebody's out there. That you, Slim? No, Slim's went in town. Have you seen Lenny? You mean the big guy? Yeah, he's in here. Oh. Oh. Look, Lenny, 
I've been figuring something out about the place. Come on in. Everybody's coming in. You might just as well get to be like a racetrack. Hey, nice, cozy little place you got here. Must be nice to have a room all to yourself this way. Yeah, a dung heap right under the window, all to myself. Have a seat. Oh, the place. Uh, you, you said about the place. Yeah, yeah, I got it all figured out. We could make some real money on them rabbits if we go about it right. You guys are just kidding yourself. You'll be swampers here till they carry you out in a box. I've seen hundreds of men come by here, on the road and on the ranches, bindles on their back and the same fool thing in their head. And every one of them's got a little piece of land in his head, and never a one of them gets it. It's like heaven. No one never gets to heaven, and no one never gets land. Well, we're going to do it. George says we are, and he's got the money right now. He, he's got the money? He got most of it. Took it into town, he's going to mail it off. I've never seen guys really do it. I've seen guys crazy with loneliness for a piece of land, but every time a dame or a blackjack game took it away from them. They ain't going to get it this time. guys could use another hand man, to work for nothing just for his keep. I'd be glad to lend a hand. I ain't so crippled I can't work. Well, they... hey, you gotta ask George. Lenny, you out here in the barn? Lenny? What you doing in Crooks's room? You hadn't ought to be here. Sure, I told them, but they came in anyway. You couldn't go to bed like I told you to, huh, Lenny? You had to come out here in society and flap your big mouth. I, I didn't do no bad things, George. George, did you mail off the money? I told you not to tell nobody about that. Did you mail it off? Yeah. What'd you tell him for? Look, George. Crook says if we'll take him in with us. Both of you. Get out of here. But, George, he's promised he'll work. Maybe you guys better go. I don't know if I want you here anymore. Nothing against you, personal crooks. Just that we didn't want to tell nobody else. I know. These guys coming in here and sitting just made me forget. You're looking for Curly. He ain't here. I know he ain't. Saturday night, ain't it? He's got his arm in a sling and he goes out anyhow. Just one of the boys. Came here to ask Crook something. You don't want to ask me nothing. <sighs> what happened to Curly's hand? So it wasn't no machine. Curly didn't act like he was telling the truth. Come on, Crooks, what happened? I don't know, I wasn't there. What happened? I won't let on to Curly. He said he got his hand caught in a gear. Who done it? Nobody done it. It's nobody. So it was you. Well, he had it coming to him. I didn't have no fuss with Curly. 
Maybe now you won't be scared of him anymore. And maybe you'll just talk to me sometimes now. Everybody was scared of him. Uh, look. I didn't sock Curly. If he had trouble, it ain't none of our affair. Ask Curly about it. If you didn't sock Curly, who did? Nobody did. He got his hand caught in a machine. Where'd you get them bruises on your face? He, he caught his hand in a machine. So it was you. Maybe you are as dumb as they say. And just maybe you're the only guy on this ranch that has any nerve. You're a nice fella. Look, I tried to give you a break. Now I'm telling you, you ain't gonna mess up what we're gonna do. Just leave this guy alone and get out of here. You ain't telling me what to do, and I got a right to talk to anybody I want to. Not in here, you... Milton. Get on back to the bunkhouse right now, all of you. even going to slug you, me. I'm going to go pack your junk, and then you're getting out of here. Because you and me are through. That was a good breakfast, huh, George? Yeah. Probably our last one on this place. We won't see another Sunday around here. Take it easy, George. Clem's in there, and the boss always listens to him. He does, huh? Sure. We wouldn't be in this trouble if you'd listen to me and stayed in your place like I told you to. George, is it okay if I go in and see my pup? Yeah, go ahead. Don't go no place else. George, you had fun in town last night? Fun? I went there to mail the money. You know, I never been this way before. I was pushing my diamond nickel out across the bar to get me a whiskey, and all I could think 
was what a lot of carrot seed you could get for 15 cents. Oh, not in them little envelopes, but in bulk seeds, you sure can. That's all I can think about is seed, seed, seed. Ah, guys got to have some fun. I went to a dance hall in Bakersfield one time. Oh, what a place. Went upstairs on a red carpet. There was big pictures on the wall. We sat in big, soft chairs. Cigarettes on the table. They was free. <laughs> Pretty soon, a guy in a fancy vest come along with drinks on a tray. They was free. Take all you want. Pretty soon, a girl come along, said she was a hostess. And she was as polite and quiet and nice and pretty. <laughs> Made me scared to ask her for dance. Well, I said it was a long time ago. All that was free, huh? Right up till I was leaving. Then how much them soft chairs set you back? Well, Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. You had a cigarette, a drink, and a look at a pretty girl, and it cost you 15 bucks. You blowed a whole week's pay to walk on that red carpet. Week's pay? Sure. <laughs> I worked weeks all my life. I don't remember none of them weeks. But that night, that was 20 years ago, and I remember that. Well, I got some good news. You guys ain't gonna get fired. Are you sure, Slim? I'm sure, I'm sure. See? <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing Mr. Jackson's got to move that grain, but I bet you Curly's wife's going to catch it. We're going to do her. We're going to do her. Came clear through that gate, but I remembered your sweet little face. You're coming with me. Smart. It's a little as mice. Just my pup. Just my little pup. Well, he's dead. He was so little. I was, I was just playing with him, and he made like he was going to bite me, and I made like I was going to smack him, and then I done it, and then he, he was dead. Don't you worry about it. He's just a mutt. You can get another one easy. Whole country's full of mutts. It ain't that so much. George says if I do any more bad things, that he ain't going to let me tend no rabbits. Hey, where are you going? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And George says I ain't to have nothing to do with you. I ain't to talk with you or nothing. You don't have to worry about talking to me. I ain't supposed to. Listen to them guys yelling out there. They got a tournament. Ain't none of them gonna leave until it's over. It ain't over till it's dark. George, see me talking to you, he's gonna be mad. He, he told me so. What's the matter with me? Ain't I got a right to talk to nobody? Well, George says that you'll get us in a mess. Now, what kind of harm am I doing to you? There ain't none of them out there who cares how I gotta live. Confidentially, I'm leaving this place. I'm gonna make something of myself yet. I ain't used to living like this. I hope that George won't be mad about that pup. I don't like Curly. I'm leaving him. I'm gonna thumb a ride to Hollywood. We going away from here soon. This ain't no nice place. Of course, when I leave Curly, my old lady won't never speak to me no more. She'll think I ain't decent, that's what she'll think. 
Well, we ain't really decent, no matter how much she tries to hide it. My old man was a drunk, they put him away. He and my old lady had an awful fight. They was always fighting. Then in the middle of the night, he comes in and he says, let's you and me go away. He says, we're gonna live together. We're gonna live together because you're my own little girl. Oh, you'll make little cakes for me. And I'll paint pretty pictures all over the wall. Well, the next morning they caught us and they took him away. I wish we'd have went. They locked him up for a drunk. And in a little while he died. I bet if I took that pup and throw him away, then George would never know, and then I could tend the rabbits without no trouble. <laughs> You're goofy. No, I ain't. George says I ain't. I like to pet nice things with my fingers. Soft things. Well, everybody does. Everybody likes that. I like to feel silk and velvet. Do you like to feel velvet? <laughs> you bet. And and I had some, too. Uh, a lady gave me some. Uh, and that lady was Aunt Claire. She gave it right to me, about this big a piece. Oh, I, I wish I had that velvet right now. <laughs> I ain't seen it for a long time. I must have lost it. <laughs> you're goofy. You're goofy, but you're a nice kind of fella. Sort of like a big baby. But I can see what you mean. I mean, sometimes when I'm sitting in my room and I'm brushing my hair, I just sit there and stroke it because it's so soft. So soft and fine. And some people got coarse hair. You know, like Curly. His hair is like wire. Not mine. Mine's real soft and fine. Here, feel. Feel right here. Feel how soft it is. Right there. Now be careful so you don't mess it up. Oh, that's nice. Look out, you're oh, gonna mess it up. That's nice. Stop. Nice. Stop, you're messing it up. Let go. No. Let go! Please don't. Please don't yell. <laughs> don't you be mad. Please don't. <laughs> now, please don't you do that. Don't you yell. George will be mad. He's gonna say I've done a bad thing. That's right. Don't you yell. I don't want to hurt you. I can have any one of you guys I want. <laughs> but you'll never herd sheep like old Mac. Candy? 
Yeah, George. You seen Lenny around? Well, his pup isn't here. He must be out playing with him someplace. Don't be mad with him, George. I ain't mad with him. I just want to make sure he remembers to come in and get his supper. Well, I'll help you look for him. He must be right around here somewhere. Lenny? Place in the back of my head, I always did. What are we gonna do now, George? What are we gonna do now? You don't know that Curly. Curly gonna want to get him lynched. Curly get him killed. You're right. Curly will. And the guys will. all off, isn't it? I know. It's all off. I think I know it right from the very first. I know it we'd never do her. I like hearing about it so much. I'm not gonna let him hurt Lenny. Now you listen. I'm going to the bunkhouse. In a minute, you come outside and tell the guys about her. And I'll, I'll come and Make like I never seen her. Will you do that? Sure, George. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. Give me a couple of minutes. Then you come out and tell like you just found her. said you'd mess things up. You weren't no good. And you ain't no good now. <laughs> I could have hold in the garden and wash dishes for them nice guys. <laughs> guys. Guys. It's Curly's wife. I don't know who done that. A big guy done it. I know he done it. Everybody else was out there playing horseshoes. Mr. Jackson? Mr. Jackson. My Luger's gone. He stole my Luger. It ain't my bag. Maybe you lost your gun. I seen it this morning. 
It's been took. Then he's armed. Mr. Jackson? He didn't know what he was doing. Tell you men not to shoot him. Not shoot him? Cut Carlson's gun, ain't he? I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna get him myself. Men, there's rifles over the house for them that wants to join us. Let's go. Let's go. I suppose we can't let him get away. Could we maybe bring him in and they'd lock him up? He never done this out of meanness. And I wish we could have kept Curly here, but you heard him. I suppose they do lock him up, strap him down, put him in a cage. That ain't no good, George. I know. I know. Got any idea where he might have went? You know, there's only one way to get Lenny out of this. Lenny? 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 <laughs> you, you, ain't, you ain't gonna leave me, are you, George? I, I know you ain't. You see? I, I, I come back here just like you told me. Hmm. <laughs> George? Uh, I heard guys moving in the woods. What are them guys doing in the woods? Hunting. Well, why ain't we going with them? <laughs> I like hunting. Is it cause I, I done a bad thing? George? 
one. George, ain't you gonna give me a talking to? Give you a talking to? Sure, like, like you always done before. Like, like if if I didn't have you, I I could take my fifty bucks. Ah, oh, Lenny, you can't remember nothing that happens, but you remember everything I say. Well, ain't you gonna say it? Go on, George. See it. If I was alone, I could live life so easy. And I could get a job and not have no mess. And 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 when the the the, the end of the month come. When the end of the month come, I could take my fifty bucks and go to town. And maybe. George. Tell me, like you've done before, about about the the other guys and and, and us. Them other guys, they ain't got nobody in the world that gives a hoot in hell what happens. <laughs> but, but not us. <laughs> Tell about us now. But not us. Because? Because. I got you. <clears throat> and you got me. Lenny, I want you to sit right down here. Look over there across the river. I'm going to tell you about our place, Lenny. I'm going to tell you like you can almost see it. Go on, George. Tell how it's, it's going to be. Go on. Uh, we gonna get a little place with a cow and a couple of pigs and some chickens. And down in the flatland, we'll have a little patch of alfalfa for the rabbits. <laughs> for the rabbits. <laughs> and and I get to tend the rabbits. And oh. you get to tend the rabbits. <sighs> uh, Look over there, Lenny, across the river, like you can almost see it. Just keep looking, Lenny, right over there. Keep looking. I'm looking, George. Uh, I'm looking. I can see it, George. I can see it right over there. I can see it. That's right. It's gonna be nice there, Lenny. Ain't gonna be no trouble. N no fights. Ain't nobody gonna hurt nobody. Or steal nothing from them. And it's gonna be nice. And you can tend to rat.